Morning, Idaho. It's 716 and time for Pets on Set. We've got a cute little cat with us today. He's very uh, curious. He's exploring <laughs> around. But look at this little guy. Cherise, thanks for joining us. Thank you. This is little Joseph. He's about eight weeks old. Um, he's been my foster for the last seven weeks. So he is litter box trained, good with dogs, cats, kids. He has very outgoing um, alpha personality. So mm -hmm. he is going to make someone a fabulous pet. Do you think he gets along well with other little kittens and other cats? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. He loves having somebody to play with. He's kind of bossy. So <laughs> <laughs> he'd, be, he'd do really well with another feline. And he's a little fluffy one, too. He is. He is. I had him shaved. <laughs> for the, the hotter months, so his um, hair in his face is kind of what's going to be like when his hair grows back in. He's going to be a medium hair kid. Okay, good. I noticed, too. It looks like he's got little shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> Socks on the back feet, shoes on the front feet, but he's a cute little guy. And it's cat, adopt a cat month, is that June what you said? June is adopt a cat month, yes. Good. So we have um, cats o over six months are $25, kittens under five months are $50, and that includes all their alterations and their vaccinations. Do you have a lot of cats at the shelter right we now? We do, yes, yeah. and we have a lot of kittens coming in, uh, singular kittens, litters of kittens. So if anybody's looking to foster, adopt, or sponsor, we have lots and lots of cats. And what's a foster process like for little kittens? Because I know you said this little guy was fostered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we have foster opportunities. Um, anywhere from one week to six weeks. Um, Short-term foster, we provide all the food and the medical. Um, we're just looking for homes to provide the love and socialization. Yeah, the easy part, mm -hmm. the fun part. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, what was I going to ask you? Just this little <laughs> cute face has made me lose my brain here. But um, I know that you have a vaccine clinic today. That's what we wanted we to mention. We do, yes, from 3 to 6 p.m., um, and it is a low-cost vaccine clinic. Everything is under $25. We have been seeing um, this past week several cases of the parvovirus in Canyon yeah. County, so it's really important that if anybody has a puppy or an unvaccinated dog to really take a look at their vaccine schedule and see if they need updated. Yeah, make sure you get that because that mm -hmm. is not good to get, especially when it's hot out here yeah. and they get dehydrated already, mm -hmm. and yep. that makes it even worse probably. Yes. And so. speaking of the hot weather, mm -hmm. another reminder, keep, is it a good idea just to try to keep your pets inside or what should you pets do with inside outdoor pets? Pets inside or um, at home. If you, if you keep them at home, it's always a better idea than keeping them in the car. They yeah. can be outside if you have outside pets, but make sure you provide lots of water yeah. and a shaded area. Okay, so make sure they're used to that. Mm -hmm. I know yesterday, just walking on the sidewalk, my dog started getting hot feet. It's really hot, yeah. yeah. And if you leave them in the car, it can get up to 20 to 30 degrees hotter inside versus outside. So um, hopefully we don't see any. Um, heat related illnesses yeah. coming up. No, none at all. All right, well, little Joseph is ready for adoption at the West Valley Humane Society in Caldwell. Sweet little guy, eight weeks old, would make a great cat for anyone's house, I'm sure. Thanks, Sheree, so much Thank for stopping you. by.